Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. Well, when you look at my three-degree guarantee, I say we hit 78 degrees today. We hit 80, so it warmed up nicely today, above average, but uh, one day only. Uh, so those temperatures will be dropping tomorrow. I think we'll go with low 70s tomorrow. After that, on Saturday, it's going to be cool. And my big change for the weekend? Sunday's not looking all that great either, especially if you're going into central Idaho. It's the cool weather, another reinforcing shot coming in. So it will be cool. If you like cool weather, it's looking great. But boy, I'll tell you what, if you're looking for the warmth, you're not going to see it this weekend in the Treasure Valley either. Boise Valley Asthma and Allergy Clinic's pollen, record, uh, pollen count from the Allergy Watch here at an 11 in the low category. Still pine, maple, and grass, but really not too much to it. So it's about as low as I've seen this in a long time. Now here's the current weather picture. You see 47 degrees in McCall, 59 Ontario. The skies have cleared in Ontario. You can see the clearing skies to the west, the sun just barely going down now, getting pretty late here, of course. 64 in Boise, there's a band of rain here, and light to moderate rain from Emmett uh, to east of Ontario. Ontario, you're done. Cascade, McCall, McCall just about to get some rain showers. This will kind of slide through from west to east, breaking up as it does, but a chance for an overnight shower. Our cold front is pushed through, not quite to the Twin Falls area yet. Southeast breeze is blowing out ahead of it, northwest breeze is behind it. This is not a strong cold front. It's going to run out of steam, but another cold front comes through tomorrow. That one means business and so uh, tomorrow night the winds will pick up a little bit and the colder weather will come in behind it and we're going to get gusty winds during the day on Saturday which is just make it feel rather chilly out there even chillier than the 59 degree high temperature so there's the rain falling right now the yellows here the moderate rain all sliding northeast right now so rain around Emmett but Ontario midday all a little bit clear right now from that rain everything sliding towards the east so the mild weather's been coming in from the south but you see this pool of cool air sitting and spinning it's been sitting here it's sagged to the south allowing the warmth to develop out ahead of it right over us right but this is going to come barreling right towards us it will go through on saturday but everything rotating around it there'll be some more cool air coming back around it for the day on sunday that's not going to allow much of a warm-up during the day on sunday so we're going to keep things on the chilly side now here's my sky cast for a future cast for overnight tonight we cleared out with that rain pushing to the east uh, tomorrow this is in the morning you still see some cloud cover developing so i think we're going to be in and out of the clouds tomorrow it may end up being mostly cloudy you see the scattered rain showers tracking in from southwest to northeast. I do believe there could be a band of rain developing from Boise County towards Stanley and maybe over Boise later in the day. So it's a tough call for tomorrow. Ontario may have the most decent weather during the day tomorrow as we head towards later in the day on Friday. We start to dry things out. Now on Saturday, the system starts to move on in. Here's Saturday as we go through the morning. There were the rain showers tracking on through. Saturday afternoon, we get a break. So as the day progresses Saturday, I think conditions could improve, but it will still be windy and chilly. Just will get rid of the precipitation. Here's Sunday now. We start to push that moisture in. This is Sunday afternoon. I think this chart's going to be updated here when the new computer forecast runs to bring a little bit more moisture down to the south. The breezes will stick around. It's going to stay on the chilly side as we head into the weekend. So that jet stream kind of dividing the warm and cold for tomorrow will be on the cooler side of things. So we'll go in the lower 70s. But over the weekend, you see this dip in the jet stream? Here's Idaho right in the cool air, and I think it will stay for the entire weekend. Well, Sunday could be a little better than Saturday in the central mountains it will be damp and chilly all weekend long so tomorrow in the valley sun and clouds possible showers i think it's a good bet that we'll get some especially in eastern sections but 70 to 75 tomorrow so that's not too bad gets cooler on saturday though 66 in riggins 57 in mccall tomorrow scattered showers not everybody will get them but some will get more than others it might be that pine and featherville gets a good dousing of rain especially later in the day tomorrow i think that's the best chance for the showers east central mountains some showers developing later in the day ah not bad in the magic valley it's 70 Seven degrees with partly cloudy skies and my precision extended forecast 59 Saturday I think we're gonna have a hard time hitting 70 on Sunday I think I may drop that temperature back down to the upper 60s for the day on Sunday and bring in a few more clouds but it still looks great next week Roland <laughs> just getting into the 80s at least not till well following weekend may cool down a bit too but timing is just off we've got no timing well eventually if you need something to brighten your spirits this weekend though Michelle has that oh Michelle? yes yes in fact